Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a very, very exciting look. I've been planning this one for a really long time. If you remember back a few videos, I was talking about a really cool look that I was planning, but I was waiting for one product. That is today's video. Look, we all have been having doom and gloom clouds over our heads. So I am going to put that on my face. I have tested out some eyeshadows that I think are gonna work really well with the look, but we won't know until we try it. So here we go. I've already done foundation, concealer, brows, powder, and a little bit of bronzer. I mainly just kept the bronzer from my cheeks and down because most of the color that we're gonna do is gonna be on the top half of our face. So there's no point in bronzing that. Let's get started. My game plan today, it's kind of a, it's a loose game plan, but it's a game plan nonetheless. I am going to try to put a light blue base in the shape that I want on my face. And then I am going to shade it with a darker blue. And then I'm going to go over it lightly in spots that I want with a black because the look that I have in mind calls for a very dark blue. I don't really have a really dark blue eyeshadow. So we're just gonna blend some eyeshadows together and hopefully it all turns out well. Oh, my shirt is so dirty, I'm sorry. This shirt just likes to pick up product like nobody's business. Okay, so I kind of want the shape of the base to be kind of like a mask. We're kind of gonna look like a thunder superhero today, which I, I love superheroes. I've always wanted to look like a superhero. We can always move product down or up if we need, but once you've placed it, it's kind of hard to reverse. Because this product is kind of going everywhere, I'm gonna use a really big fluffy brush. The product's not really made to be used by a brush like this, but I'm hoping that it will do what I want anyway. We'll see. I'm going in with the Mini Conspiracy palette, and I'm going to use Cancelled. Start at the temples. This is going to look very, very blue right away, but it's going to be much darker by the time we're done. I'm truly just putting it everywhere. And I apologize for the appearance of my hair. Let me tell you, okay. So I've been making a joke to all of my friends and family recently. <gasps> oh, we dipped into other colors. Oh, let me fix it. Okay, well that will get covered up eventually anyway. Okay, back to my story. So I was making a joke when all of this quarantine stuff started that the reason it's happening is because I got a really bad haircut and God didn't want anyone to see it. So that's why my hair is really in limbo right now. It's just not at its best. So I'm hoping that once New York gets released, it will be a little bit better or at least a few inches longer or something so I can get it cut a little bit better. Moral of the story, don't trust anybody. Over communicate what you want your hair to look like when you go to the salon or else you're gonna get whatever they wanna give you and it's not gonna be what you want. Uh, still hurts me, honestly. <sighs> live and let live. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from my mistakes, more like. Okay, we're looking a little patchy, but we're gonna go in with a darker blue color. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just going to start to darken up the middle part, make it a darker blue, because this is far, far lighter than what we want to end up in. Okay, so this is the kind of look that's gonna look like you don't know what you're doing until the very end. And even then, who knows how it's gonna turn out. But keep the faith, it should all end up beautiful. We're not gonna go in with the black quite yet, but I'm gonna find a darker blue. Okay, so I'm gonna take that slightly darker. It is shimmery, but I couldn't find a matte dark blue. I'm gonna take that slightly darker blue 
and I'm gonna put it over my eyelids. We're just gonna get the eyeballs out of the way, get them done with so that we can really focus on the face. Woo, poke myself in the eyeball. Oh, I took out my contacts because like, why do you need to wear contacts in quarantine? But my eyes are always incredibly sensitive afterwards. Whew, so keep poking myself in the eye and making them water. Not helping this look at all. And I have night and day contacts, so I don't have to take them out every night. But we're just going to live without them for a little while. Save you girl some money. Okay, I did the top eyeliner just to get it out of the way and not have to think about it anymore. And now we are going to go in with that black and really darken up this look. This is a stormy night, not a clear blue easy day. You can literally use any black eyeshadow you want. I'm just using the Jaclyn Hill 2 palette. I'm going to start off really lightly because once you put black on anything, you can't really go backwards. So you really have to use a light hand and then keep adding on or else you're gonna be really mad that you put too much on. See already the difference between the forehead and the bottom of the face? These blues with the black turn into a completely different color and it's the color that I wanted and I just didn't have. So God bless color theory and mixing. I do not want to bring it below the cheekbone. It's going to make things pull your face down and it could get muddy past the bronzer. So I am just going to keep it all above this and really pull that mask back, make you look fierce. Like we all want to look always. And this layering of black is going to really be personal preference. If you want it to be super dark, super stormy, definitely add a ton of black. I'm probably going to want it a little darker than this, but I don't want to mess with the black too much and go overboard. So we're probably going to do one more layer. And then we're going to move on to highlight. And we're not going to contour the nose or anything because this is a full creative look and that isn't really necessary. But I am going to warm it up in a similar way that I do in a full glam look. And I'm going to just take this big brush and I'm going to have the black eyeshadow on it. And I'm just going to tap the nose on the sides. So you're going to avoid putting the black down the bridge of the nose, but you're still gonna shape it a little bit. Okay, so we've gotten to the dark color that I want, and now we're just going to take that black one more time, and we're going to pat it on places that I want a little bit darker. So I'm just going to pat black on my temples. Definitely the sides of the nose like we did underneath the cheekbones just a little bit create that lifted illusion and i'm using a padding motion instead of a swiping motion so that it doesn't look so intentionally placed so we've got our base pretty much set we are going to blend out these edges they were just thrown on there and now we need to clean them up just a little bit so i'm just going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to go over the edges just in circular motions so now that we've blended out those edges just a little bit I'm going to take that same brush dip it in black and I am going to darken up my crease and my cheekbones just a little bit more we're going to move on to highlight in that Kesha video, I used that blue highlight from the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I'm gonna try to use it again. It might be a little too light, but I think it's gonna work. I love the way it mixes with the blue, actually. It looks awesome. Yes. And I'm kind of just gonna highlight normally, the normal places that I would usually highlight on my face. And no surprise to anyone, I'm gonna go in with Extra by Jaclyn Hill. I'm just gonna do the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and brow highlight. And probably the inner corner too. 
said it once, I'll say it again. This is the best highlight. <sighs> Incredible. Incredible. Ugh. I love it. Mm-mm-mm. So good. So, so good. I'm gonna do a big Cuba's Bow highlight because this is kind of the divider between the dramatic part of my face and the less dramatic part of my face. So we'll just make that super dramatic. Before we get to the big highlight moment of the whole show, I put on some mascara, I put on some white eyeliner, and we are truly almost done. We just have two big moments left and then we can go on with our day. Walk around and scare some people with this bold, bold makeup look. The star of the show. This is the product I was waiting for. Bet you didn't think it was just going to be a white liquid eyeliner. But it is. This is the most important part of the entire look. And it is something I did not previously own. This is going to be our lightning. Yes, we are going to put lightning all up and down this face. Because it's not a storm without some lightning. If I could draw thunder, I would, but that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna do one big streak of lightning all the way across. We're gonna have some that break off down. And then I think I'm gonna have a short second one here. I've mapped it out a little bit. I've looked at a lot of photos of lightning and lightning bolts. And I think I can recreate something to look semi-professional on my face. So here goes. The great part about lightning is that it is squiggled. It's not in a straight line. So you really don't need to be a professional artist to do this. You don't need to have a steady hand. You can kind of screw up and just pretend like it's a lightning bolt, which is great for me. I fucked up a little bit, but we'll fix it. Okay, something I just discovered is same rules apply for the black eyeliner that I have in this NYX brand. For the white color is that once you just let it dry, if you don't like where you placed it, just take your finger and swipe. And you can kind of just pick it off little by little. So you don't have to make up remove anything and you can still remove it if you want. We're getting somewhere. That took me forever, but I think I like the way it turned out. It's not the Mona Lisa, but I still like it. <laughs> yeah, we're into it. I love it. One last step and then we are done. On to my favorite part of every look, the lipstick. I will take any excuse to wear a black lipstick. This is from Sephora. Um, it's just the Sephora brand liquid lipstick, um, but it's actually pretty good. I do recommend it, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a liquid lipstick and you still want a lot of pigment, I highly recommend it. Although that being said, I do think the Maybelline Superstay inks are a better liquid lipstick. They're at least longer lasting, but they don't have as many colors. So it's really personal preference and what you're looking for. Spray down my face just a little bit. I'm gonna hop off camera and fix my hair if I can. I'll be right back. Okay, this is my attempt at trying to salvage what good I have left in my hair. It will grow back, it's fine. I will never go back to that hairstylist ever again though. Mark my words. 
that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you are feeling this stormy weather look inside, this is the time to bring it outside, play with some makeup, have some fun. I am so excited to share these fun looks with you. I love the lightning bolts down the face. I hope you all are sticking in there for all my fellow New York quarantiners. Stay with it. We are probably gonna be stuck here a little bit longer than everybody else, but we can do it. Even though we're stuck in our tiny, tiny little apartments with no fresh air. If you have access to fresh air without running into people, I hope you are so grateful for it because a lot of us do not have that privilege and I am desperately missing the outdoors. I will never again take for granted the fact that I can leave my apartment whenever I want. Thank you so much for watching. Please recreate this look. Let me know your thoughts on it. Say hello. Hit me up on Instagram. Say hello in the comments below. I will tag my Instagram in the little bio. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are doing well. I love you. Stay sane. Stay safe.